So at Capital, we've been uh, running our client money since 2011. It's our own in-house investment proposition. We call it Intelligent Investing. Now, we call it Intelligent Investing because the roots of the investment program actually come from investment theory and academia. And if you, when you do the research like we did back in 2010, you realize that over the last 50 or 60 years, there is a world of information out there as to how we should really truly be investing. So investing along an evidence-based approach. And there's been probably three Nobel Prizes that I can sort of recall. Uh, Harry Markowitz, uh, William Sharp, Eugene Fama, and we can take inspiration from those. So I think if we're using the brains of the investment world, then I think we can call it intelligent investing. Internally, we really just call it a systematic way of investing, which means that when we build our clients' portfolios and when we're managing our clients' portfolios, we just follow a very disciplined, rule-based, an unemotional approach. So we want to make really good long-term strategic decisions. So the evidence tells us that you do that by building a set of portfolios along long-term, sort of what we call strategic asset allocation lines. So all of our portfolios have a benchmark or a target that all designed to beat inflation. We want our clients' money to be worth more in the future than it is today. Not just more in terms of I've invested 100,000 and it's now worth 120,000, but we want to give our clients a return above inflation so when they decide to buy something in the future, their money has grown sufficiently because things do go up in, in value. So we run five model portfolios within our intelligent investing from a sort of a low risk and return model through to low, medium, medium high, and sort of high risk. And they're really designed to fit our clients' needs, goals, and ultimately their financial plan. So what the evidence tells us and what each of our five model portfolios benefits from is the sort of the deep research that we've done. And I think in the industry, what a lot of investment managers try to do is to beat the market. But actually really what a client, what a client wants is a reliable investment return to give them the money that they need to do the things they want to do. Because if you, all you want to do is to get the market return or beat the market, how much risk are you taking? So for us, it's about risk adjusted return. So when we look at the evidence, we actually sit back and think, well, actually, all of these fund managers that are trying to beat the market and give an above market return, hardly any of them do it anyway over the long term. They might have the odd three to five year purple patch, but over the long term, beating the market is incredibly difficult to do. However, through the science and evidence, we understand that there are certain parts of the investment world that do give you an above market return. So we know that, and we've got data now stretching back 50 to 100 years, but we know that if we invest in smaller companies, as an example, rather than bigger companies, or we invest in undervalued companies as opposed to growth companies, or we invest in, let's say, the emerging market area rather than the global broad market, then there's some extra return to be had for the risks that you're taking. So if you want an above market return, our philosophy is we'll buy the market as cheaply as possible, and then we'll tilt our portfolio more into the small market, more into the value market, more into the emerging markets to give our clients an above market return. And that's based upon, as I say, decades of research and decades of data. So if you want to beat the market, you're better off doing it intelligently rather than trying to pick and choose a fund manager that invariably won't support you over the long term.